in, it's time for our monthly sit down with Mayor Tim Kelly, Mayor of Chattanooga. Uh, how you doing today, Mr. Mayor? Doing great. All right, we're going to get started in here because uh, when you first came in, I noticed that the River City Company uh, mm -hmm. has just released their market analysis report for downtown Chattanooga. That's right. And the thing that caught my eye was they say that downtown is capable of doubling the number of residents in 10 years. We just did that over the last 10 years, did we not? We did, but we need we need more, right? Again, I think uh, after the pandemic, we learned that the work from home movement is here to stay. Mm -hmm. and a lot of these big uh, big companies downtown, Blue Cross, TVA, uh, you know, they're still working from home, at least partially. And all of our retail downtown, the restaurants, uh, all the retail stores, they rely on people being downtown in order to uh, in order for their economic viability. So we need we need more people living downtown, and we have a great opportunity to make that happen. Now, what I remember is about 10 years ago, say about 2010 or so, there were about, uh, they estimate about 20,000 people living in the downtown area. I think that's about right. And now we're at about 40,000, mm -hmm. and they're now saying we could go to 80,000. Now, part of that, of course, is the conversion of a lot of the old office buildings yeah. downtown that have been converted into apartments and condos. Mm -hmm. We see that. But let's also talk about the whole... I mean, all the expansion coming along the riverfront. Yeah, so that really two big opportunities that you're seeing a lot. Uh, I heard a really great report this morning about uh, uh, New York starting to do this, converting, as you say, mm -hmm. commercial buildings to residential, which sounds easy, but it's tough because they have centralized HVAC and, you know, plumbing's got to be different. It can't just be one floor per bathroom or uh, yeah, one, one bathroom per floor, it, right? yes. But, uh, it, but it can be done and it mm -hmm. is being done. So we're going to be looking at that. Uh, River City is going to be working on that. And, uh, and then, but of course, with these big areas like the South Side and the Bend, we will have opportunities for some new downtown housing. So it's exciting and it's important. It's almost like Chattanooga is on the cusp of a, of a major growth period. And we've gone through those over the years, but how do you handle this from a, a city services kind of standpoint? Well, uh, so you, you may have heard, we've, we're have we we're kind of taking another look at CARTA. We've got a, mm -hmm. a lot of new board members at CARTA and I think public transit is a classic example, right? We don't need more uh, automotive congestion downtown. We're trying to make a downtown where people can get around, whether that's walking or with micro mobility. I mean, we don't really do scooters in Chattanooga, but maybe we'll take another look at that. Um, we'll see. But uh, I think we can build a downtown that is that is very friendly and 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 not uh, not not too congested. Yeah, like some of the recent proposals for how to re envision Broad Street, for example, by making exactly. it more pedestrian friendly. Yeah, exactly. And uh, recently on uh, on ML King, condensing it down to two lanes with a center lane and putting more space actually I think helped traffic flow. That's right. It doesn't have to be inconvenient for cars mm -hmm. uh, and, and and we definitely want to do more bike lanes but the bike lanes we have too often don't lead to anywhere. They're not really useful or usable so we just need to think about it a little bit smarter way. And, and public transit has always been one of those issues that can be really helpful um, but not just to downtown but to the whole city. It's and a, you just appointed what? Eight new members of the Carter Board? Nine. Nine, really? It's a hugely important thing for workforce development in particular and again, we've got some great prospects for uh, new job announcements coming up this year. And uh, but you know, look, if you've got to go buy an old buy here pay here car that doesn't run, and you're paying forty percent interest on it just to get to work, and it breaks down, it's sometimes it's expensive to be poor. And we're trying to public transit should fill that gap and, and make it easier for people, not just as the transportation method of last resort, but for, as a convenient way to get around. And so we're we're looking for uh, uh, a fresh start at Carta. Now, one of the things that when you're trying to promote a city for people to move to. You you talk a lot about quality of life issues and uh, Chattanooga being such a green area to begin with. Um, what is the city stewardship program all about? Uh, well, um, that's a way for us. I mean, again, Chattanooga is really, we're really proud of our green spaces. Mm -hmm. It's kind of part of what makes Chattanooga Chattanooga. Our trails, our parks, our greenways. And the park steward system is a way that you can volunteer to go help make Chattanooga a greener, more beautiful place. It basically is three things. Picking up litter, uh, planting trees, and pulling up weeds. And so uh, you can uh, you can actually pick. We have a great event coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, 
um, where you can get a preview of this through the stewards program. Uh, Arbor Day 2023 is yes. going to be doing tree planting uh, at the at the at the shepherd at the shepherd community center from eight to noon with kids activities, free snacks, games. If you're more into uh, destroying than creating, you're in that kind of mood. Uh, you can just go pull weeds uh, at the, We're doing a weed wrangle at Renaissance Park from 9 a.m. to noon, and and you know we're always in a battle here against invasive plants and weeds and things like that. So, but that's what park stewards do, and you can learn more about being a park steward at cha.city forward slash park stewards. Okay, park stewards. All right. yeah. and, and finally, when we're talking about quality of life, you know, it's nice to get around, it's nice to have green, but yeah. it's also nice for people to have things to do and places to go. And uh, Chattanooga has been investing a lot of time and money into the community centers over the years. This yeah. is a big deal for you, I know. Well, it is. I mean, again, uh, my predecessor did a great job with the, what we were calling then youth and family development. But when, when I came into office, it just seemed to be more logical to call them community centers. what they are. They ought to be there mm -hmm. to serve the needs of each community and I've charged the folks in community development to really talk to their neighborhoods and communities we have new community advisory committees that are are talking to them to say what what do you want to see here whether it's a, a drum circle or whether it's a cooking class or whether it's a, a workforce development uh, opportunity so we now have over a hundred programs in community cities we have community centers across the city we have 21 community centers across Chattanooga and most of these programs are free they're yours, folks. So we should be using uh, community centers uh, as community centers. And you can see uh, the whole list of upcoming programs at your closest. And you don't have to use the one closest to you. You can use any community right, center yeah. across Chattanooga. Again, communitycenters.chattanooga.gov is that web address. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Mayor yeah. Tim Kelly, joining us for our monthly chat. And of course, if you have any questions for the mayor, any questions about the city, cha.gov, right? You got it.